Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a recent report by Defense News dated March 19, 2024, it was revealed that the U.S. Air Force has successfully concluded the final testing phase of its state-of-the-art AGM-183 ARRW, air-launched rapid response weapon, hypersonic missile. As per details shared by an Air Force spokesperson, AB-52H Stratofortress bomber conducted the critical all-up round test of the fully operational ARRW prototype after taking off from Anderson Air Force Base in Guam. This significant test occurred at the Reagan Test Site, a crucial Army testing facility situated in the Marshall Islands. The AGM-183A, also referred to as the Air Launched Rapid Response Weapon, ARRW, signifies a notable advancement in the United States' hypersonic capabilities. Developed by Lockheed Martin for the U.S. Air Force, this weapon system aims to bolster the Air Force's capacity to execute swift, long-range strikes against high-value, heavily fortified targets. The development of the AGM-183A is a response to the evolving global threats landscape and the advancements in anti-access-slash-area denial, A2-slash-AD, capabilities by potential adversaries. Hypersonic weapons like the AGM-183A possess the ability to travel at speeds exceeding Mach 5, which is five times faster than the speed of sound. This extraordinary velocity, coupled with the weapon's maneuverability and altitude capabilities, poses a significant challenge for existing defense systems to intercept. The AGM-183A utilizes a boost glide trajectory, wherein a rocket booster propels the missile to hypersonic speeds, following which it glides toward its target, enabling it to strike with unparalleled speed and precision. Hypersonic missiles, operating at speeds of Mach 5 or faster, represent the pinnacle of military technology, characterized by exceptional velocity, maneuverability, and the capability to traverse various altitudes. These attributes collectively pose a formidable challenge to existing missile defense systems. The category of hypersonic missiles primarily comprises hypersonic glide vehicles, HGVs, and hypersonic cruise missiles. HGVs are launched to high altitudes via rockets before gliding down to their targets at hypersonic speeds, leveraging their high speeds and maneuverability to evade defenses. Conversely, hypersonic cruise missiles are powered by high-speed engines throughout their flight, enabling them to maintain lower altitudes and follow intricate flight paths, further complicating interception efforts. The combat advantages offered by hypersonic missiles are manifold. Their remarkable speed significantly diminishes the time available for defenders to detect, track, and engage the incoming threat, rendering them particularly adept at targeting time-sensitive or heavily defended objectives. Additionally, their ability to maneuver at high speeds complicates predictions regarding their flight paths, thereby reducing the efficacy of existing missile defense systems. Some hypersonic missiles operate at altitudes that place them on the cusp or within the upper atmosphere, posing challenges for radar detection and interception. The integration of the AGM-183A into the U.S. military's arsenal is aimed at conferring a strategic advantage, enabling the United States to penetrate sophisticated enemy defenses and swiftly engage critical targets with a high degree of accuracy. Its development underscores the nation's commitment to maintaining technological superiority in modern warfare and its ability to adapt to emerging threats. That's all for now. See you later.